Hello everyone, I'm Eric and uh, I'm going to show you how to move items from one gallery to the other. There are instances where one need to move an item, that is immediately an item is selected from one gallery. We expect the item to be shifted to the other gallery or deselected from that gallery and put into another gallery. So for instance, when I click on um, Tray. I expect the tray to move and then shift two as you have seen here. So now we have France and then we have another France because I have shifted it from the first gallery into the, uh, the second gallery. So in the same way, you see on the first line, I have Alicia here. I have another Alicia. When I click on the Alicia, I expect that it's, it's removed from the second gallery and put into the first gallery. So when I click on Alicia, you see that the Alicia is removed, then it's placed into the first gallery. So we have um, double of uh, that name being repeated. And there are instances that we may use, uh, we may have a good use for this uh, scenario. So in a very quick video, uh, we are going to see how I came about this. So in the first place, on visible, I have um, I have a collection. So I have the same data source four lists, four lists that I put into a collection, and I've named the collection collection four, and then collection five. So in the same way, I'll put the collection four on the first gallery and I'll put the collection five on the second gallery. So when we look at the items, property, yeah. Then in I have sorted the gallery based on the ID of the data source so i have the first name the last name then i have the id number so the if you look at the items property i have the collection collection four then i'm sorting by the id and the, the i am multiplying the id by one because the id is a test column so when i multiply it by one then essentially this becomes a number column so that I could use the sort to be able to sort it properly. If I should use the sort by column that goes with the test, it, it wouldn't work because um, it sees 10 as if it is 1. So let's try and see how it goes. So assuming I use sort by columns and uh, for sort by columns you put them into brackets and remove the one times one you see that we'll sort it all right but we see that we have one one ten eleven then we see that we have two here so it sees the 19 can uh, look at the one instead of the 19 and, and uh, it shift the two under the 19 so that is why I use the sort instead of the sort by. Yeah, that is why I use the sort instead of the sort by. So I'll go back and continue the tutorial. So multiply by one. Okay, so with this, we have the four. Then on select, let me make it a little bit bigger. On select of this icon, I have this formula, I have the same thing for the select of the second gallery. Now on select of the icon inside the first gallery, I have remove then the name of the column, this item. So remove from this collection when I click this item. So whichever item that I, I click, it's removed from the collection. So if I click on five, five is removed. So now we don't have five again. Then in the same way, when 
I click on the item, I remove, and then I collect or put it in the second collection, which is the collection five. So it's removed from collection four and put into collection five. So you see that this is decreased and this is increased when when I click on the first gallery. In the same way, I have the opposite of the first inside the second gallery. When I click, it removes from collection five and then it puts on collection four. So straight away, when you click on the first, the second icon is shifted to the first. When you click on this first icon, it shifted, the item is shifted to the second um, item. So this is a very quick video on how to shift items from one gallery to the other and vice versa. I hope this will help you in one way or the other. Thank you.